So uh, this game, it's so what's really interesting is this is actually after I'd just gone on that big loss streak. And so this was fairly lower ELO game than I'm used to. And the Syndra was actually plat one. So really the Syndra's not... plat one? Oh, because oh, this was like the D4. Syndra. This is like yes. the D when you were D4. Okay, okay. Yes. And so I think I was actually D3 at this point, but it was just a lower end game. Um, so, and I just like, I don't, I don't know how to deal with it. And it was funny because I played a game on a Smurf like a day before this game. I was literally versing a gold Syndra as Ari. And again, I just got stumped because I just don't understand. Because like, you're getting hit by her style. How... Well, oh, that and like level one, like how to walk up for a minion. Mm, well, level one against just... Syndra, you just need to space out. Like you, you well, first of all, the, the the key is like you have to be able to dodge her cues. Um, yeah. Second, that... you shouldn't be standing inside your minions because then she's going to try to cue you and the minions. So you just want to stand to the side and, and actually just try to contest the wave for the most part in this, because um, obviously you can't really like kill her level one or pressure her too hard because just her QE like and at level two she'll yeah. have QE so her disengage on you is too hard. Like if you're walking up to her, she can easily just QE you. Whereas, it, you know, because if, if you're close, you, you don't really have the time to dodge her. It's a pretty big hitbox and a pretty fast combo. What level of even dodging skill shots is actually, like, skill, though? Because what uh, if... You, ward this, this you can't ward this at this time. This is way too yeah, late. It has to... You, ha you literally, if you want to ward this, you have to go, like, immediately from base right here and ward it. Wait, really? You have yeah. to go from base? Or yes. Like, I thought like, you could do it later. No, like because they're going to... They should be guarding right here. I mean, you could do it at like 128, like when the buffs spawn it, because then they shouldn't yeah. be in here anymore. That's fine too. But okay, like, if you I want an early ward here, it has to be like yeah. ASAP. Otherwise, you know they're gonna be here right away. Which this is actually, yeah. I mean, this is <laughs> this is why. I mean, you're, you're gonna really recall and TP fine. back. No, you just but you have to pop a health bot. Wow, that's really really bad. See, the reason I chose this game though is because even though I did have this really bad. Stuff, I feel like the principle of the lane was still similar, where I can't walk up for a minion. Like, even if I was full health right now, walking up for the minion, the same thing happens. Yeah, you can't. You, okay, so you almost just messed up here. If you auto this minion, you would have been trolling yourself. What do you know about this wave already? It's slow pushing into me. Right. So what do you, what's going to happen if you auto this, if you try to kill this right now? going to slow push slower or not push it. if you if you manage like if you what it looked like you were going is like auto into an e on that or something it all that does is slow down the slow push which is going to zone you longer you want like if you want to get pushed in you want this minion to be as healthy as it can because that's going to make it come into you faster so you can farm if you hit this and kill this it's just going to be like frozen right here and she's just going to be able to stand up here and you're never going to walk up and then when the next melees crash it's going to be the same thing she'll stand on the melees and you're never walking up especially because you're already super low like this auto that you try to do what was it like right here, right? Like autoing that would have been super troll. Because you, you, you can't you can't have a reset wave on yourself right now. And if it's slow pushing into you even slower, like it's just gonna hurt you. Cause like at this point you're low. She's obviously has the pressure. Alright, that was good. She used her Q. Okay, but we missed it. That was good bait though. You're trying to bait her to Q, right? So that you can yeah. walk up to farm it. That was good. What was that? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. She's like, <laughs> she's, like, like I, I, I mean, I was like, watching it, and I just thought to myself, like, this player is really bad, and I felt like if she was on any other champion, I would be able to absolutely dominate this lane. But I don't, I don't know how to just deal with the Syndra and not being able. Well, to okay, for you hit. A you hit level two. Okay, this is this is so big. Do you know her equal cooldown? Yes, fourteen like, seconds. I, okay, I didn't even know it, but I was gonna guess like eleven. I was going to guess like 11 just because I know it's a yeah. somewhat long cooldown. And, and obviously you don't want to be a, up there immediately when it's off cooldown because then she can just use it, right? But like yeah. immediately now, you're level 2 off for this minion. If you want to contest her right now, dude, you have a 14 second window to, to do it. Okay. Like yeah. she can't beat you right now. She cannot beat you right now. If you land a Q on her, you've won. And you're not using that time. And they have a Zac, but what, you, you know Zac started bot side, right? You, and you have this ward too. So what did he start his raptors? Wait. He started his raptors, yeah. And then, and then to moved red. to red. Okay, so that tells you a lot too. Cause now you, you pretty much know he can't gank you from down here for a while. Because he's uh, he's hundred percent going to his progs after. And is is this preseason patch? Or is this yeah, eleven twenty four? Okay. 
but like right if if you want to contest this dude i don't know why she used her e if she doesn't use e you don't contest this but she used e that's like oh you need to punish this and you can thin this out right now or you can even go for a q on her and a couple e's and especially if you do land your q on her you, you she's not gonna hit you with her q because you're gonna have the move speed right Because you could have actually got the wave like in your favor there, which you wouldn't still wouldn't really be able to walk up and try to kill her, but you'd be able to play like more in a pocket. Like if you thin this out, right, you can walk yeah. up a little bit over here. Um, and she's if she wants to queue minions, she got to do that, and you can threaten her with queues uh, as well. Like what you should be doing at that point, right? Where's she walking right now in the in the wave? Queue right here hits her and these minions, gets you pushing. All right, I think I did tonight. Um, just before this. Well, you hit her with a Q, but that, I'm just for the concept of it, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah totally. you hit this minion and a Q. I mean, one minion's a little bit less, but, right, like, yeah. if you do, if you did capitalize on this right here, where she fucking trolled with her E, or, like, what you should be doing is try to bait out her E anyways, right? And, and, like, you, you wait for her to drop the Q, and then you just move the other side, because she can't hit you. Um, and then and then that's your, your window here now to, to get a little bit of priority on her. You have that 14 seconds now to hit a Q, and if, if you do hit it... Um, I think by this point her E's a, you're worried about her E already, so you can't go in on that. But if it's a little earlier, right, you can actually kind of get this a bit. Wouldn't I get uh, also outtraded by minions as well? Since if I well, you're not gonna run. Gonna you're go. not. You're not gonna run into the wave. So like what? Right, right. Where? What is she? Right here. Yeah. You, you're literally just you could walk up, try to queue this and her, and then like if you're okay, where would you do this from? Like down here, right? Yeah. The, these minions aren't aggroing you from here. So you'd have, be able to walk up and probably hit her with one or two E's and then back, back, back up again, and that's all you need because you've now you've now damaged her enough that she's like a level threat. And it, obviously, you know, you don't have two health pots, and you should have two health pots. So let's like, I think we should ignore your like level one low yeah. HP because ideally you'll have two health pots, and she'll also have two health pots that you're gonna be able to like trade with a little bit. If she blows one, great, but you, you win that trade in that case because you if you hit the Q yeah. two, you're gonna dodge the Q, or if you're walking up, you know she's gonna try to Q you, you're gonna dodge that real quick. Um, hopefully aggressively if you can, and then you hit the Q, and then you, you, you get some trade onto her. And then you can yeah. actually, since she's backing up now, and since your Q hit minions as well, you can maybe try to eat a couple of the minions that uh, are poisoned so that you get a little more damage on them. And then as well, you know, that's going to thin this wave out so that you can actually be a little more in control. Because now at this point, if she has E, like you can't walk into the, you obviously, like you know when I get out traded by these minions, yes. So that's why like your, your priority here would be Hit her, get her low, and then and then focus on minions to thin it out so that you can actually do a little bit of trading with her when the opportunity yeah. comes. But it's it's really big. Like you're not really trying to always trade with her because she's going to beat you with it if she hits her. It's like really high risk for you, low risk for her because if she's good, I mean she shouldn't miss. She's plat one, right? So you can capitalize on that at the moment. Yeah. But in higher elo, she's she's not going to be a fool and just like immediately. Eat. But you're going to be trying to bait that out with like your movement, like your wiggling um, on like. You know, like you were trying to bait out her Q. She's usually what they're gonna do is try to Q E, right? The um the other thing was like with this trading, the see like this was great. Was yeah, like, that was super yeah. good. Yep, yeah, and then you get out. Just going over. You're going pretty deep here. Yeah, I uh, don't need that. Right. W or like the Q and back up here, right? You've already won the trade. That's all you needed, yeah. and then you can you can now focus on minions for a bit while she doesn't have E again, right? And you can thin that out. Yeah. Which actually, I mean, at this point, if she's this low and she's this overextended, this this is pretty feels bad for her. The problem is that Syndra's just, you know, if she's a champion that can't shove out, or especially a melee champion, um, I mean, it, it probably wouldn't be set up like this. But if it was, like, she can't really walk up or feel safe doing it. But Syndra's pretty good at just shoving out the wave. So it's hard to kind of zone her unless you've already, like, established, like, especially as Cassiope, you don't really have anything to, like, consider, like say, I'm going to kill you, right? Aside from you can throw your W out at the four weeks gonna come. But were you gonna ask them or say something? Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, on the lines of skill shots, like that was unfortunate. If I was asking at Ari or something, what's how much skill is there in like actually dodging the skill shot? A ton. Because what if they like predict your prediction or whatever? You dodge like, it. Do you know what I mean? Like if they predict you dodge dodge no, left. I, I know what you mean, but I think that only applies for flashes and stuff. 
you should like okay. really try to work on like looking at the angle they're at, looking at like there's tells, you know what I mean, or like just just there's certain patterns that you can like like really short movements of just going back and forth, left to right, really quickly. They're not gonna know which way to guess. And then when you see one, you just take a sharp angle, and most of the time they're, they're gonna miss. Um, but okay. with Syndra, like you you see where she's standing, you can see where she's dropping the cue, you kind of know where to dodge, right? Like, oh, if she's right here, she, it goes this way. So if I'm right here, I just have to go up or down. You don't want to go at an angle like this ever because that'll clip you. You have to go, like, sharp, like, perpendicular to the skill shot. What if it was, like, an Ari, though? So if it was, like, an Ari and I'm chasing her. Like, if I've landed a Q on the Ari, so I'm trying to get into the E's. And she fires her E behind her. But, but and, like, I plan to dodge it left. So, okay, let's, she predict- let's just say, for example, it's like, you're... Your cat. Well, then you're just thinking about like kind of stuff that you shouldn't. Like you shouldn't be worried about like what if she predicts me. You should be confident that you're gonna dodge. So you're here. This is Ari, and you're walking at Ari, right? She's there's a certain point. Usually at at max range, they're not gonna throw the charm out because there's too much time for you to dodge, right? But once they yeah. see you step like right here, it's close. They're probably gonna try to charm. So you really want to be moving then, like like faking that you're going super aggro. You hit like this point. Right where you're like, depending on the champion, Ari's skill shot. I think Ari's charm probably comes out to like right here. I, I would yeah. assume. All right, that that's my guess from experience. Yeah. So like, once you you know, she's probably not gonna throw it at max range. You should still expect it, and like, if you do see the animation or like start her start to like, you know, throw fucking a hand forward or whatever she does, you're gonna move up mm-hmm. or down. But like once again, sharp movement up or down. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Up or down. Okay. Otherwise, the hitbox will clip you in the other ways. And even if she tries to like predict it at that point, um, usually, it, usually they they send it at an angle that's not gonna be able to hit a sharp like turn. But again, so this is like Ari's charm. You're gonna walk like at this point, and then once you hit that like midpoint where she's going to like be on you, you're just gonna take a juke. Even even if you don't see her turn around you, you're just gonna assume and you're gonna juke. All right, makes sense. And it's the same for like most people. So like. Thresh, for example, as well. You just yeah. There's, exactly. there's actually right. enough time between their animation and it hitting you to dodge. to see where it's coming and dodge it. Yes, if yeah. you're like focusing and you're paying attention, uh, you okay. can like it's it's kind of like mental training at that point. You know what I mean? Like you really can train yeah, your yeah. reflexes to a certain extent. Um, yeah. And there's sound cues, right? So for Thresh especially, there's sound cues. Ari has her sound cue on the charm. Syndra's got her sound cue on the cue. Um, I don't know about her E. But, you know, you can kind of, with Syndra, if you were in the same position, you'd see her cue coming out and you'd be dodging. Where, like, yeah. you know, if yeah. you're here, you're not going up here because this is, a, like, you're on it going to a wall. It's so, like, if she just saved the cue, she could just move down here now and you're going to get hit. So you would have yeah. to go, like, at this angle. And then if she, if she moves up then, right, if she's, like, coming up to, like, look to, like, angle up this, like this, then now this is hard for her to land because you can now still have two options going up or down. All right, makes sense. Cool. But it a lot of it is like just audio cue and and, and honestly just like reflexes. Um, but like yes, Thresh. I'll, most of the time against Thresh, wow, such a long range cutter you did. Most yeah. of the time against Thresh, I'll like, I'll I'll guess a juke some way, and then I'll look at the hook, and I'll either see like it's coming at me, and you know sometimes I'll react fast enough to move back. Most of the time I'll try to. Um, but if it's like a really good hook and I'm in a really bad spot, I just know immediately, okay, it's going to hit me. I have to flash. I have to flash it. All Even right. though it sucks to burn your flash. Like, you know, if, yeah. if you're like this low on HP and you're close to her and you were like in this position by a wall where you know that you're not going to dodge the E if you're going this way in time because the angle, right? If you're on a wall, you, yeah. you, you know, like skill shots are way harder to dodge. You're pretty much fucked. Then yeah. like you would know, Definitely. okay, I have to flash Cinder's E Even though it sucks, it's better than like losing, like getting chunked down to one bar of HP and then being forced out. Now she's um. Yeah, that's why I stay for this way. I don't know why I did that. Well, like, why don't you just throw your W on her first, right there? Yeah. She's out of mana. You would just win. Like right here. I don't have enough. Oh, God. she's. Why is she stepping so far up? Like, if she's back here, you can't W this. Yeah. Oh, you don't have very much mana. True. Ah, uh, that's true. What you'd get? What is your Q fifty or sixty? Sixty. Is it sixty? 50. Wait, oh, the Q. Q is 50. E is, is uh, 50 as well. And no, E is, is the, 60? E is 50. Is the E mana uh, refund only on unit kills? Or do you get yeah. some back on poison oh, no, too? No, no, yeah, it's only on kills. Okay. Yeah. 
So yeah, you don't you don't have too much mana. Yeah, you would only have enough for threes. That's why a lot of the time as well, I don't like to trade on Cassie mm -hmm. I wait till I get a tier because you just well, don't have you, enough. Yeah, mana most to most of the time you're not really trying to trade Cassie on Cassio early yeah. um, against like control mages. Um, and unless they give you like the the fucking window, right? Like if you had more mana there and she walked up like that, you would definitely all in. But it does he make sense. You, you pretty much had right, Syndra. Um, because it's I mean, a with how low mana, mana she has, yeah, she's kind of like, trolling. Because she really trolled, and it actually allowed you to get. <laughs> no, yeah, she's definitely yes. bad. For, like she's definitely bad. yeah. Because now you can so, just freeze this. This game, like I was aware, I played really bad and did really bad, but it was more that I didn't know what the alternative was. Like mm -hmm. I don't know what I would have done but i do know that what i did do was right well like the level two knock out like i obviously most of the time she shouldn't be using her eve like behind her randomly but it, like it just in the sense of like if you dodge it there and she used it to try to hit you and you dodged it like oh that would be it that's a perfect time for you now to get to get priority in the lane so it's just a big mechanical matchup yeah because like, you don't even have to necessarily queue like, her there you just go for the queue on the minions plus her and if it hits her great if it doesn't who cares? I just want to push the minions and thin them out anyway so that you don't get to crash this big wave under my tower and fucking, like, harass me or tether me under tower. And te are you, you know the term for tethering? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay, good. But like this, uh, you should be prioritizing the minions, not, not trading her. Yeah, I, uh... I really, I miss like all of these because yeah. I accidentally misclicked the mage ones as well, which is really unfortunate. Well, I mean, before this, right? You know, these are going to hit tower. Your, your Q should probably be here for now and yep. just last hitting. Like, you should always prioritize CS over training. Unless it's like going to, unless it's a guaranteed solo kill. CS are more important. That was really bad. There's very, very rare back? cases. 15 seconds. Watch that. Yeah. I just wanted to see what I did. Well, we can even go right here, right? So this is good, you're just CSing right now, but like randomly you just decide I wanna hit her. I think it was because she queued, so I wasn't. Yeah, but her queue's not even a big deal. She can pick so, it up and then yeah. E you. The the True. the win condition for you is her E. It's nothing else but her E. That is all. So like you shouldn't be baited by her Q. It's a low cooldown like yours. That's like saying if Castillo misses a Q on you and you're fucking like uh Diana, that like you should go in on her. <laughs> you know, like Yeah. Um, you're just going to lose, because her Q is coming up two seconds later, and you're not going to kill her within those two seconds, and then she's going to get Cassio, especially with current Conquer. Cassio is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, I've been spamming it a lot. I really yeah. like it. The healing, like, you proc it really quickly. It, yeah. I mean, I watched the Nemesis, like, quote-unquote outplay on Rumbleverse and Recon. Did you see that by chance? Uh, I didn't see on that Reddit. one. I've uh, seen a few of them. That there was, like... <laughs> He was level six, dude. He did. There's like it said Nemesis outplay, and I think Nemesis is a phenomenal player. He really is. But dude, that was not an outplay. <laughs> like I'll show you later. They just missed everything on him. He even missed his ulti. It was literally just that he had conquer, so he just won. <laughs> like yeah, that's all had, it was. Uh, I had he a one played it so early, poorly. Uh, oh, here we he go. Literally out here on Nemesis. Oh yeah, this was uh this yeah. I don't even want to watch this again. This is really bad. Oh, you're out of mana. So I ran out of mana, and. Uh, yeah, what happens next is pretty, pretty ice. ganked by Zach. I'm well, on it. The wave's pretty that. bad for you. Oh. So I already, yeah, I did see Zach on the ward at top. Mm -hmm. Um, but I thought like he's all the way up there. He's not going to get down. Oh, you're going to flash but... to try to finish her off with like an E that's not poisoned. Even worse. <laughs> Autos. Oh no. So I don't have mana, so I'm waiting for my E to come up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. But like, I thought I was in range. I was aware she wasn't poisoned. I was gonna order E, which would have killed her. Yeah. But I just I flashed in the wrong direction. Yeah. Big issue here is just not. In the first place. Yeah. Big issue here is just not managing your mana properly, right? Like, I don't even think you need to ulti her. Like, I, this is literally just mana management. This is your only problem, like in this case, right? Like the the the, the kill is definitely a solo kill, but like, do we really need to ult her? If she's level six, yes. But like. She just used her E. What what is she gonna use? Yeah. Like what are you afraid of, right? Like why do you need to stun her? Just Q her and E her and she's dead. I think I'm just used to um having tear at this point, but because mm. I didn't have the uh the gold for it. So yeah, if really, you have yeah, if you have really... tier it's different. So but again that that's still just mana management at that point. Yeah. Cause like you do have and, to consider uh, like the state of the wave, right? So if you solo kill her, you need to have the mana to push it out. If it's gonna slow push yeah. it to her. Otherwise oh, it's gonna I come do have to you. Presence of mind though. 
presence. Of okay, mind, there you go. Mana value, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there you go. But, I also so at this point, minion, but I don't know if that was it. The really bad thing was just yeah, it, this was entirely just mana management because if you solo killer, if you're presence of mind, you can shut this out. Yeah. But right now, you don't have any mana after this. Uh, she actually has mana, but you have like you've got nothing. You're kind of in a that's why I know you can, but you're you're gonna be okay to like last hit for a bit. But she's gonna be, she should be able to recall and come back before you can shove the wave out, right? Well, I think I'd be able to shove it in, but she'd just get back in time. Like so at the same time as the wave. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. She'll be able to get back without missing too much because you're gonna have to just use your E to last hit until you eventually get like 120 mana that you can drop a Q with your E still coming out, or however much mana you need. But that that's entirely just. I still can't get to. <laughs> Mana management. It's not even like you. I, I. I mean, I guess I was gonna say it's not like you played it badly, but the ulti is just really, yeah. But that's like what you have to consider. You don't have tears, so you shouldn't be playing like you do, right? Which I, yeah. you're saying like I'm used to it, but that doesn't make up for yeah, it. Yeah. Like you, you have to be aware of the fact that you don't have it. Well, really it close. Right. Like it, the engage was good. The look was good, right? You see Zach top. You see their bot lane. You know that this is a solo kill. It's just the execution of like. So hypey on the yeah. ulti, there's no reason here. Right. Yeah, I would have had enough for another Q and two more E's, which would have been enough to kill. Like pre ult. Yeah. Uh if they're good too, they just I don't know. If they were good, they would just let this way push into Syndra, she'd recall and you'd yeah. be pretty boned. Well, I don't know, because we're, now Warwick I gets to I catch the wave. Yeah, I mean, you do, but Warwick gets to catch this now. So enemy team could have denied like Warwick as well. Uh, fair enough. Look, thankfully, the wave's not like the worst for you. You did miss a lot, but oh god. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Right, your clicks are good, though. Like, how close you're able to click to your champion, I like that. Because this that that's like like this is the kind of clicking that that shows that you actually can dodge skill shots when you trained yourself to like seriously it sounds like bullshit whenever people say stuff like that but it's straight up true what, like the clicks yeah cl to dodge yes shots? because the closer like the problem like if people like I don't know this probably doesn't matter to you but just for the sake but like if you're clicking way out here right and you're trying to juke something your natural movement will not be for him to go from here like say say we're against a cinder right and she's here and she's gonna e like this right and you want to juke um down down this way right or or up this way even yeah right let me get rid of this if people are clicking like away from the champion like they do like they'll be clicking up here over here the natural reflex to like try to dodge something now is to like click up here or like down here like really far away your mouse doesn't move yeah. far enough like whereas if you're clicking close you're clicking here you need to move here it's like boom i'm, I'm going straight down or straight up because and i'm saying that because i see it a lot too coaching people like when I, when I see especially yeah, yeah. like eighty carry mains trying to dodge stuff, they're clicking so far away and like they they juke at that angle then because of it that I talked about. Like and it makes them get just clipped by the hitbox. Whereas if you literally just did a sharp turn, like you're not gonna get hit by it. It sounds weird, Fair but enough. it it's just a hundred it's absolutely true. Like there's <laughs> people wouldn't eat, talk about it if it wasn't, you know what I mean? And pros yeah, wouldn't yeah, click yeah, so I'll close to if, if it wasn't. Yeah. Well. And and professionals okay, always yeah. are clicking close to their champion, like in, in tight yeah. spots. So this was another frustrating moment, and I feel like this happens in a lot of my games where the jungle is just kind of like hover, hover around my lane, and mm -hmm. well, so even, mid lane. so even if the Syndra is really bad, oh, like, that was like that was really good. Watching this, oh my god, but he's Zach here again. Still, he literally just circled yeah, around that's and waited the other sucks. <laughs> That sucks, dude. And this happens in so many of my games where like I can't actually go forward or punish anything because as soon as I do, right? So that, that like works. the only answer for that is just you shouldn't. <laughs> like yeah i guess and that's right i just get greedy because I, I hate right it. you're greedy and this is clearly greedy but like what does a key want her even do for you here it doesn't give you control because she still just has her e right like she, she i mean she dodged her. it but i'm saying like she's backing up so like if you, you're not going to kill her here is what i'm saying so like and even chunky still. huh isn't it still poke like i mean e still e but even if she's at this much hp what's that going to do for you are you going to feel like you can kill her now yeah, more so more so than 100, like, full HP? No, and plus she has a health pot. You should be aware of that, too. But if, yeah, even if ignoring she has a health pot, all this is doing is putting you in a bad spot where you don't know where Zack is, whereas this wave's still going to come into you, and even chunking her to this low is not going to change the fact that, like, you're not going to have wave priority. 
Because you're still going to be too too afraid of going up against um, with Zach coming in on you unless you see him. So she's still yeah. gonna and she's still gonna back off and tell her ease back up. And you're not. I mean, again, instead of going on her, her ease down. Let's get wave priority now. Let's thin this out so we don't have a giant wave coming into us. All right, makes sense. Like that's it's time to focus on the wave instead of her. And if you like. I would say, you know, like in a matchup that you want to freeze on, like that you can, like that's where you, you know, okay, well, you would just zone her and like you could thin the wave out a little bit. Like, you know, there's too many minions here to like try to freeze. So you'd probably want to kill the melees and then you could hold the casters over here. Like if it's a, uh, who am I trying to think of? Like Cassidy or something, like somebody who can't shove into you, you know? Yes. Someone like then now, oh, okay, well, I force him off. I get time to clear these minions out so that it's now going to just be like, and maybe in this one, so it's going to be five casters against nothing. So that when this wave is pushing up, I can just hold the casters like in this area because I can kite up to here and that champion can't move on to the end here, right? So these casters are going to be held here and now I can freeze this and zone them. But against someone like Syndra or Yana, um, I would say LeBlanc, but LeBlanc's kind of hard to do that with against him or a Rise. Like, it's yeah. not going to matter because even with, with this big of a wave behind them, they don't care if they're low HP. They just walk up, hit these minions, push it, they go recall. Okay. Right? So, but doesn't that mean that it's not the right play to just fix the wave? Because it is a Syndra, so she can just push it in, like you said? No, 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 no. I, I'm saying, well, what would you, <laughs> would you rather have 10 minions crash into you or three? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because... Again, if it's this big of a wave crashing, she can recall or she can roam. If it's a small amount of minions, you can just you, you can follow her. You can't follow with a giant wave. Yeah, okay, makes sense. But if if you just take this time to, you know, against Syndra, you wouldn't just kill these. You you try to kill all of these like as many as you can to keep the waves as small as possible so that she doesn't get priority to do whatever she wants. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. It makes sense because, like, sometimes I find myself in positions where my lane is roamed, but and I've got a big wave crashed, mm -hmm. and I don't want to leave the whole right. wave to go and roam because if it was uh, smaller, then I would be able to clear it fast. And fall. Yeah, exactly. And not to mention, like, it, objectives and everything, roams everything. But not to mention, also yeah. with a giant wave crashing your tower, especially against Zack and Syndra, that's a really easy dive on the Cassio if they fight if the yeah. Warwick pops up somewhere else on the map. If Zack's around, like, just around like this whole area, or even like up here, and then Warwick shows up bot for a gank or top for a gank. Or they even spot him on a war that they have in the jungle. Zach can so easily dive you. If there's three minions, they can't really do that. Or if you've thinned out enough, like because because you don't care. Well, if you're worried about getting dove because like they're standing aggressively, or you have spotted Zach somewhere, you can just leave this tower and just go back. You save the dive. Whatever. We lose three casters. But if it's like ten minions, you're not leaving this tower. Like if you do, you might have to if you know you're gonna get dove, right? But it's a lot worse. It's a lot worse. Just losing three castles makes sense. And it's just harder for them to make the dive off unless they play it like much yeah. better. Because you can just ulti. Yeah, it, it's just a lot better for you. Oh, we finally picked up our tier. Woohoo! Um, yeah, eight minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just awful. It's really awful. But as I said, like I was more concerned about the principle of the lane in this like game specifically, which right. Yeah, which we have talked about, so I'm glad that we still got the... Uh, yeah, I noticed it's only line. 18 minutes, so I'm assuming it ends pretty preemptively. Yeah, it, it's, it's <laughs> a fast the, uh, FF, the Fiora gets like 8-0 or something, and we don't really have anything to deal with that. You're AFK! Alt-tab changing song! <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I actually don't know what I was doing there. Probably changing song. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, right, you're doing fine here. You can't walk up to Syndra, right? But But... I guess getting vision, we this that's what yeah, you should have been doing I, right here, though. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Like, I, well, I actually maybe, don't know maybe I'm doing not like right now, it's risky to walk down here because you don't know where Zach is, but like, as this wave's coming in, like, right now is fine too because you know yeah. Cinder's gonna end up showing right, right here. Like, Cinder shouldn't be down here or over here anymore. So, that if, if Zach does go on you, it's very unlikely Cinder can follow up on you. Okay, but like, not now getting this word's too late because she's already she's already clearing out the wave. This is all. I mean, this Syndra's bad, too. She should just be slow-pushing to you every single time. But she, she's not. Because you can never walk up to the wave unless her E's down, right? And Zach's just free yank every time. Yeah, exactly. So you're just playing save. And for some reason, she just shoves it into you. But like what you could be doing now if you were already over here is um, you, you could just be killing the melee minions, like trying to queue them and eat the melees. 
Yeah. And what you you do that at this point after you've got this vision, right? You would do that from down here. I mean, the, the kind of bad thing is like Zach can come from over here, so we do really want vision of like this area against Zach. Like it's really important to get vision over here. Like, uh, preferably like if you can even see the Raptor pit a little bit, just to see if he walks into that, right? Because he can, if you're up here trying to thin out, he can come from here still. Um. I thought that I'd like never be at that point anymore, though. Like, at that. But that's what I'm saying is, is if you have the vision, you can be here and you can thin these melees out so that this uh, such a giant wave won't be able to crash into you. And then you can play a little bit more like um, dancing around her ear, trying to bait it out, and then go a little more aggressively. Because if you have vision of this side that you can hug down here, if you, Zach ends up coming from this way, you can just run down. You can run this way, right? Run up, whatever. But if you don't, or if you see Zach, obviously if you see Zach from uh, the Raptors, you just back up immediately. But if you if you if you only have vision of right here, this kind of gives you the false vision, and, and you still have to play back behind this wall always because of over here. Yeah, and it's hard to go get that vision. Um, but ideally, like I know you're in like this game's like a lower MMR than you're normally at. Yeah. Um, but usually, like you know, you could ask jungler to help you get vision or come with you. Um, or yeah, my jungler, you, I really you know, would like to be as well. <laughs> well, also if if you're really afraid of um. So you have vision right here already. If you're really afraid of walking up this side the most, then don't ward it. Ward this side. Go get vision. Stick go get side. vision over this wall. Okay. Over that time, get vision like of this bush. Like like there's vision of this bush. Get vision right here now too. So now you don't even have to play on this side of the plane. You can play up here. Yeah. Because I mean, th this this vision paired with right here tells you if, if Zach's coming from anywhere but like your own jungle, which is a lot less likely and. You know, you don't have you to worry about that as much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You should at least. I uh, like, unless he got some really weird pathing off, right? There's not really a way for him to get to get in there without being spotted on this or this. Unless he like ease over here, which would be pretty troll of him to just randomly get into the enemy jungle. <laughs> like, because if his ease down and he runs into Warwick, Warwick kind of just gonna poop on him. I actually just remembered what I was doing next from watching that. I was actually just like. I just sat back and tried to take a deep breath and mental reset because you see what I did to those minions? I missed them all because I misclicked these, and I'd missed these like, ones. Oh, realistically, I think the CS could be at about Oh, 60 I see what you mean. Yeah, right you could have. Yeah. Just you... from missed last hits. So I was really, really tilted at this point. Yeah, you prepped like, this, this one well. You were, really... you were going to auto this and E this one and then finish this yeah. one off. Yeah. So I just but... misclicked it. <laughs> yeah, so you're so just yeah, taking, yeah, I'm taking just a mental reset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I like it didn't work. Right. <laughs> well, that's. But because I don't know, I hate games like this where I feel like I'm so much better than the enemy mid lane up, but I've just like I don't know, I've made heaps of mistakes, then I get cupped by the jungler, and then now I'm doing this. Well, like, to be this fair, is. the reason but you got cupped so by the jungler is you kind of let yourself get cupped by the jungler. Yeah, it's not that's like what a, I'm saying. it's not a jungle difference kind of cuck. Yeah, it's a yeah, I, I know that's what you're saying. No, I was just saying, like, it be, it's hard to get an advantage. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I, I, hate mid again. I hate losing people that I feel like I'm better than. Yeah, this is really, really, really troll. I don't even, I don't even know what this is about. I don't know if they were just like on a different page. Are or they what? duo or something? Like, I, I have no. Oh idea. no! Please don't get greedy for. Don't, don't get greedy for it. I, I really wanted it. But, but what? Just... I'm confused though. Why you didn't just ult him right now? Um. Well, I thought he was just going to back off. Oh, well, like, but why? He... If he's in his E, he's facing you. But the turret wouldn't target him yet. But there's only two so minions. Who cares? You would, what? Well, who cares? You would just hit him. You'd ult him and you'd just you'd Q him, E him, and you'd just kite this way. Because then Syndra can't worth my ult? Yes. Because I wouldn't be able These to minions are going to die, yeah. dude. And unless Syndra wants to tank, she can't hit you. It's totally worth it. I mean, oh, or, right. or you could just immediately, as you kind of do, like put your W down right where he's going to land, right? And then... He's stuck. Like, because look how fast these minions are gonna die, dude. They're literally gonna like to cast his four tower shots. If he's stunned under the tower, they're likely to die before he gets out with OZ. But at least W should have came out, if not R. I don't know. Yeah, I think I was just. I just thought he like, was just gonna run away. Getting out, only W. Yeah, yeah. Getting, getting out of this is fine to do first, but now W should at least be coming out right now, because then he's stuck. Um, and you don't even need to put W on him. You could put it like this, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. so that he can't. He can't go this way. And if he does, now you're going to get free damage on him. Of course, your eyes need to be focused on Syndra at this point, right? Because you need to be yeah. dodging her E. I think she and, just used it as well. Which you, yeah, did she? Which you, but what you can absolutely do with your move speed from Q, too. Uh, no, she didn't, actually. 
why didn't they just kill me? Like, I feel like she just eat me right there with the ball. You're, you're too, I told you, it's the same concept that I was talking about with Ari at max range. You're too hard to hit at max range. They don't want to use it. It's too unreliable. Okay. If you if you were right here, she would have used it. If you're right here, she's not going to use it because you can move to it. That's like the mentality right. behind it. If she's confident she can land it, maybe she'll use it. But again, it's it's so easy for you to dodge at max range, right? You literally just have to move one way, and it's going to be dodged. Right. Whereas if if you're close, and that's about positioning, which you're spacing well here, if you're close, she's going to use it because you're not going to be able to dodge it because it's going to be instant. That's entirely what it's about right there. But again, like I, I don't know why your W doesn't come out. And now, like, okay, as soon as he as soon as he hits you, like, it should have been. All, I, I guess it was. I don't know. I feel like it comes out a little slow. Like, as soon as he turned to Q, that should have been the ulti, right? Because you know the Q is going to hit you, so you're going to stun him. Um, which I, you could say that's a little bit of nitpicking that it is. I'm, but just as as no, a general totally as a general I'm pointer, sure. it's definitely fair to say that to play this better, your ulti should absolutely be coming out at least as soon as the Q came out, and your W should be coming out. And W is not nitpicking. W should absolutely be put out yes. right here behind him, in between him and Syndra. Because that makes it so Syndra can't walk up and Zach can't walk back. So now they're just fucked. Yeah. And so. I think I was just. And so. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah I, I agree. But. And so then e even if he didn't hit you, like the W would put make him too. Like the, your W slow is so fucking ridiculous, right? Like you'd just yeah, be able to get insane. enough damage on him that even if he doesn't die. It's like, it, at least you know Zach's not going to be ganking you for like probably another 30 seconds. Or it should be, you know, in higher MMR, which is what we should be talking about probably since you're, you you're going to be able to yeah. get it back up there. Um, your jungler will capitalize off of the Zach being at like 1 HP or whatever. <clears throat> like by at least counter jungling. Or, hey, Warwick knows Zach's mid, so he can go top, make a player, bot, make a player. Or just go solo Drake, solo Rift, right? Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, dude. Is they handed off a blue buff in fucking Yeah, it's insane. What? I've never seen it happen before anywhere but Korea. <laughs> like <laughs> it, it, it takes a lot. You gotta sell your soul to your jungler to get a blue buff. Unfortunately I didn't choose to do that, so I didn't get a blue buff. So I'm I'm just I'm a little curious right now as to why you're not just like doing the wave. Uh, hmm. Why I'm not doing what? Queuing the wave. Like why, you're oh. just like why are you, you're playing so passively? I mean, are you? I guess maybe you're worried of Zach. Can't be a Warwick right here. You should be trying to get the Like you keep giving again. If this Cinder's good, she sees your last hitting. She's she's not right now. Cinder shouldn't even be worried about last hitting this, and she should be standing like right. She just saw Warwick though, wouldn't she be able to? Yeah, well, yeah, if she has E, she doesn't need to worry. But like, yeah, thinking idea. Let's say, like, let's ignore this gank right here. But Cinder could just be. I think it's just because she's bad. But she could just be pressuring you off this cannon. Yeah. Wait for it to die. Next wave will get caught like right here, and now it's going to be what ten minions, and she's going to shove it into your tower and get a free recall off, or run, okay. and you're going to be stuck Fair with ten enough. CS under the tower. It's like just Q this. Like you don't have to E it, but just Q it. Two Q. What two Qs on it should kill it. Yeah. The casters at uh, least? Well, I don't have any damage, so <laughs> probably not. Okay, well, whatever. Q. Two Qs, a third Q. At least low enough yeah. that like, when it's coming into you, you can one-shot the minions with another Q even. So they're just going to die. Yeah. Makes, it a lot, makes it a lot easier for you to not get pressured under tower then. And then the cannon, she's, she's not going to be able to pressure you off that cannon. You can just let the cannon, like this, see exactly like that. You kite it back, but it's just no reason to even let it come to you to begin with. Or maybe now. Just troll. Well, but this is fine. Before. It ends up being fine. I just didn't see this part. <laughs> like, it ends up being <laughs> totally fine, to be honest. But now this wave's caught down here instead. Right? Because you could arguably, if, if you're queuing this, you can probably clear it out and kill the cannon beforehand. She's worried about Warwick. You don't need to kite the cannon all the way back here. And then you could just worry. At this point, you are already just can already have the cannon lower HP. Right? So that yeah. the wave's not going to be caught here. So it'll be caught like over here. I mean, this is okay. If Warwick's good, he should have just reganked this. If like, I don't know why he doesn't. But if we see re Warwick recalling, then it's like fuck. Or Darius, Darius pings on the way, but yeah, why is he even here? His top wave's gonna collapse. <laughs> like, Darius, what are you doing down here? 
Yeah, so it it is just a low elo game, so it's a bit of a mess. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it's it's better just focus on your own. Exactly. So like again, I I wouldn't. This is this isn't a big deal. Just ignore what I said here. It's whatever. But the earlier stuff so far is it is actually really really important. Does a Diana rework? She can all on. Oh yeah, they're putting her like ulti, her current R onto like her E. Just like really what? Really sounds really busted. Oh yeah, I dude. saw about that. That's gonna be so busted. You already might put on a band, so it's whatever. <laughs> I think um, yes, she has to push I think this. We finally get a kill here. Oh, no. See, I feel like that's really annoying because it was the first time where we came and it was really weird. Gank, like she'd run back and hit. Like the wave was already under your tower. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I I, I feel like most of these games she doesn't flash the whole game. So I don't know. This was right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I do seem to remember. Something happening. Because she's just perma pushes this the whole time. So I don't actually fall that far behind in XP because she's not doing anything to. Like, I'm only 15 CS down. I don't know how that's even possible. Like, I feel like with the way I play, I should be about 30 CS down in two levels. But. Oh, yeah, def absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> she's just. That no early, the early levels, she should be, like, farmed perfectly yeah. and you should. Definitely been pressured off CS. So, do you think it's unavoidable to miss some CS like level one? It's fine to give up. Level because one, um, certain matchups. I don't think in this matchup you, I mean, level one against Sentry, you don't have to give anything up. You just dodge but, the Q. Okay. You just Go ahead. like you should just be able to wiggle and, and see. You know, when she when she turns towards you, she's probably giving you just move one direction. You're gonna dodge it. Like, but what if they're really good and they actually wait for your last hit? Well, I in that case, because I, I I usually wait for them to actually get into their auto attack animation, and if you just put your mouse on them and you you'll hit them hundred percent of the time. If it's, like they can't dodge it. Usually, give me like one, a couple, like one or two CS. You know, especially like melee, it's like you might have to. You know, certain matchups you might just have to lose a couple. That's not that big of a deal. Um, but I don't know. Well, like we'll look at level one again real quick after once we see the rest lane. This, what yeah, it's, it's, it's basically over in like. I think we kill her once, and then. Uh, oh, yeah, you're on your way. You don't get to. You don't get any help. Wait, does your I team win or do you guys lose? Hmm. Do you guys win or lose? We lose, hard lose. Okay. There's there's a fight that happens that Fiora gets a quad, and that's just. Because <laughs> at this point, like we we can still definitely easily win this. We've got our bot lane is three and one, and doing really well. I'm not yeah, that far well, behind because the singe is really bad. It's only ten to eight, yeah. I mean, and they have a fucking low diamond, or like low diamond, high plat Fiora. I'm, that's nothing to worry about. Yeah, but it just it gets worse. And also, like I, I do this thing. I I hate not following my team, even if I know it's stupid, because I feel like like they run it down or get annoyed if I don't follow them, if I don't do what they want. Like you'll see soon what happens and. It really annoys me because I do it all the time and I need to stop. Well, what you need to do right here, like the problem that like your vision against Zach's really really poor, like the the warding against Zach. Like Zach, you have to have like if you have vision of like again around this area right where Zach will like yeah. likely come, you can play so much more up, and like actually contest waves. But because you only ever have vision of like this is like the farthest we go, you can never walk up here because of this wall, right? And that's what you're afraid of, and should yeah. be. But like. In this downtime, we already have a pink here. We know they won't. You know they won't see you come like this. And you, so why don't we just move up? You can even ask your like. You should ask your jungler or something if you can, or like ping assistance. I don't know. Sometimes they won't, but maybe yeah. sometimes they will. If they do, great. If they don't. You know, you could walk up. You could even just drop your pink in this bush instead. Move it from here to this bush, because this bush doesn't really do much for you. Move it to this bush, and then if if you if they have no vision again, you just hug this wall. You go and you drop your yellow trinket in this bush. Okay. Or not this bush, but you can potentially, you know, you can eat. And I mean, what you can even do if if you if you don't want to drop your pink in this bush, I, I forgot. As a Cassiope, you can just do this. You can just queue this bush, and if you get the movement speed, you know there's someone in there, right? Yeah. If you don't, you you know you're safe. So you, you'd come in here, 
you could pink this instead. So that you, first of all, from here, you pink this. So you can see if they'd see you walk this way, right? Or obviously, if you're coming right here and someone's in this bush, you rip you. But then you're coming through here. You drop your Q in here. If you, if you don't hit somebody, you don't get the movement speed, then great. You can move now up to here. You can do the same thing, Q onto this bush, right? The like wall bush. And then you, if no, you yeah. hit, don't hit anybody, you can walk up. You can ward um, right by Raptor Pit. And now you're totally safe. Like now, you're, now you should feel totally safe walking up around this area. Like in this, I guess I can, let me let the screen move real quick. In like this whole pocket or over here. Yeah, makes sense. And now you can actually just play like in this little pocket. Like I'm, I, that's a bad curve. But you know what I'm getting at. Like you can, yeah, you can yeah, now play in this whole curve, yeah. uh, avoiding Zach's E range from like this side of the map now. Because you know that he's not over here. And if you do spot him, you just back up. Okay. And this allows you to now, you can actually contest waves, you can dance with Sentra here, dodge her E, and then you can try to all in without moving past like this, you know, this arc or whatever. Yeah. She, she moves past here, okay, back up, right? Yeah. Like, like early on, what you should have done when you, when you ended yeah, up getting yeah. that game. Yeah, when the game wasn't. And then you just, and then you get wave priority. And then what you can do then is you can now roam. And she can't follow you because Syndra cannot face check you. Because you just yeah. drop ulti, you insta kill. If she has cleanse, yeah. maybe you got to worry a little bit more about it, but um, you're she still going to be able she to. She doesn't have DVI. Right. Usually it makes it quite easy. Yeah. Wait, she does she have cleanse? Did she you say? She... I, feel like, I feel like we could have done that like 20 times this game. <laughs> I mean, probably, but your jungler might. I mean, it, it sounds easier for laners than it than it actually like, might be. Yeah, because I see the same thing when I, whenever I'm playing AD care, I'm like, "Where's my fucking jungler?" Like half the game, and then I play jungler, and I'm like, "I literally can't be bought right now." When they're asking me <laughs> to be bought, and you know, like that just makes you feel for it. Like, okay, I get it. But obviously, there's probably a plenty of times this game where Warwick, def, I mean, he definitely could have ganked Central when she was past River, like with your W especially, but he like just didn't. Oh, dude, this Fiora this is, is what I didn't want to do. This Fiora is smurfing. Or... You're playing it well on the on your W though. Oh, she's gonna flash, yeah. I, I mean, saw the um Fiora coming down, and I pinged back, but he was. Oh yeah, you saw her right there, right on this ward, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's actually so telling too. This is really important that people don't like, like why map's so important. You see her like move like at, on this wall, which just tells you she's yeah. going towards mid. Which, which is, is weird though, the because back. like there's a whole wave crashing here, but I guess I think they saw well, like, on yeah. The, on I the think ward, they, yeah. they I think they have a ward like on your Raptors probably. Yeah. But yeah, you're paying him back. Like, uh, oh, and she parried the old too. I didn't see that he had the Q. Yeah, so it was. I mean, but uh, to be honest, you played this pretty well, like sitting on your W, so that Fiora can't dash ever. Um, but obviously, she's just got flash to follow up, and pinging off the fight was correct. I mean, at this point, it, dude, if you don't want to fight this, you know you lose it. Just don't fight it. Yeah, I know, and that's what I should do. But like, then what happens is. Your jungler they, flames you, yeah, I know. But yeah, you just I, mute I him and you don't care. All chats turned off. Yeah, like, that, that's I good. I, I never off. But you know, then then what if they like start running you down or they don't give you blues and stuff? They, well, they unlucky blues, because they're just shit players and you, there's not yeah. much you can do. You just have to like again focus really on yourself. Good. You know what the right play was. That sucks. It's tilting. It happens to me, dude. Trust me, like, dude. Yesterday I had a thresh. Okay, we're like none of. Both the enemies, bot leaders, had no flash, right? I have a Thresh who has flash and ignite, okay? And we're playing, like, right here. We're playing, like, right here, and he's in this bush. And they're, like, they have a wave right here, right? So let's pretend this is the wave. And their Lux is standing, like, right here. And their Caitlyn's standing, like, right here with the wave. I mean, okay, let me, let me, let me do it a little bit. All right. There's a caster here, a caster here, a caster here. And Caitlyn's standing right here, and Lux is standing right here. Where they should be, right? Because yeah. he can't, I can't get hooked. My Thresh keeps throwing his hooks like this. Which does nothing except for put the hook on cooldown so that they can go aggressive. And he does it like three times. And then he finally makes a flash play where he flashes in and fucking flays them in and then throws his hook this way and misses. <laughs> and then he rage quits the game. Oh, Tilted hey, as fuck. But it happens, hey, dude. Like, you know, it's like, whatever, dude. I guess we just lose. I know I played well. Uh, Feels bad, man. But like, there's just like, there's really just, you know, that's the... That's the fucking unlucky part of Soliki that there's really nothing you can do about. Uh, that, that's why it's like, if pros, whenever they, uh, whenever you see them give Soliki tips, which isn't that often anymore, it's really just like, focus on yourself. <laughs> like, Just get better. And when you have semi-decent jungles, you should be able to make yeah, sure you Yeah, because you're not, you're not going to have a Warwick rage quitting your game 
like 80% of your games. You might have it once every yeah. 10, 20 games. And if you're playing like consistently well, doing like it, what you should be doing most games and executing it well, then like over the course of those 100 games, you might have lost, this is being generous too, but you might lose 10 games to someone like rage quitting, but 90 games yeah. are not because of that, you know? And, 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 you know, there might be streaks where you get, like, 30 games out of those 100 of just really low-quality games. But overall, that's still 70% that you could have much more of an influence in if you're just playing well. And they're not guaranteed losses. But that's always just, like, a subjective kind of variance-based thing of having five players on one single team without voice comps. <laughs> like, Yeah, it's bound to happen. Comp, uh, what even happens here? Yeah, I try. Uh, yeah, you should be. Oh, you're fine here. If you kept going up, yeah. but you shouldn't be uh, going to the stopwatch. There's a here. behind me. There's oh, a there is. Uh, ah, yeah. that's unlucky. Do we know where she is from the start? Oh, you see yeah, her. Yeah, she's she's going. You should move this way then. You should, really yeah, you should bad. already be going this way. Yeah. I yeah I I really trolled. Yeah, I just thought. I yeah, know. this was re this was really bad positioning. But I know you say you troll. But then so I thought maybe I can kill him. But then <laughs> yeah, they stop watching. He's like, gonna get your it's it's too late now. Yeah, I'm yeah. already dead. Going for that ease there is fine, but you're already dead. Yeah, you should 100% be. Like, Cassio yeah. is kind of like similar to playing AD carry. You just have to be in the optimal position at all times. <laughs> Fuck you, rolling eye. <laughs> yeah, I think usually I'm quite good at that part, but I was mm -hmm. just. Tilted at this not, point not and really, just not. Yeah. Not, not playing with no brain. Focusing on this game anymore, and it ends like a minute after this. We have another dragon fight, and we just get stomped. Fiora gets a club, and we FF. Yeah. yeah. Oh really? All right, we're moving down. Wait, we have TP. Where are we not? We should just be TPing. You could just TP like, uh, what does this start right now? If they're already on the dragon, you should be TPing. Like you could TP. I mean, there's not really a good ward. You could TP to this turret right here, I guess, but that might be int. I don't know. Eh, there's not really a word for TP2, yeah, but it really I mean, yeah, at that point, well, at this point, even TPing to the, like this ward back here is better because you need to get there yeah, ASAP. I, I don't think you're going to win this fight regardless, but you should still do it in the sense of like it's a, a what if like we could win it. But if you don't do it, there's zero percent chance you guys win this fight. Because yeah. I mean, people way, throw this... people throw team fights all the fucking time. The screen has gone like ten pixels. Really? Let me try to. Oh, it's it's. Um... Yeah, I took it off to see if it'll fix. Yeah, that's better. That's better now. Okay. But yeah, this is literally like, I mean, t people throw team fights all the time just by not playing it properly. So like, if you're at, at this point in the game, like <laughs> if you're not here, your team loses the fight and like uh, lose a dragon. If if they don't fight this or you know they're not going to fight it, you could just not TP and you guys can give dragon, which is probably the better thing here. But if they're going to fight, like you, you just need to TP and get there as fast as you can. Like closes ward, whatever. If there's literally no ward, you actually can't TP, then like that's another thing, you know, but I and and I, again, I'm not even saying that it'll win you this fight, but it could. Like, look how low she got. If you were there from the start, yeah. like, you would have been there already. Like, if we're TPing, like, uh, probably right now you still don't need to TP, but now you need to TP by now. Because now, like, with the stance they're yeah. taking, you can tell they're going to fight it. So, like, it's like, okay, I need to get there. Cause, and by now, you'd be TPing four seconds, you get there. They don't know you're TPing there at all. They probably think you're still coming from walking from top, and then you would have been here by now to, to finish this Fjord off. You could just drop W, probably, like, from this wall over. Which, again, that's, like, hindsight thinking, but, again, it is relevant. It could, again, like, people throw team fights all the time. And even if you kill Fjord, it doesn't guarantee you win it, but it's just about the fact of, like, that's putting yourself right. up for it. But level one, oh, well, this, I <laughs> can't really talk about level one right now because I forgot you're on HP. Yeah. <laughs> but if you are full HP, though, like see, see how she, see how she wiggles. Like I mean, she, wow, is this a really flat one center wiggling like that? I don't see that. But when she turns back, as soon as she's turned back like this, this you like you move up, and then she's gonna look to cue you. So anyway, that's how you bait it out. So try and bait it out, bait it out before, and then yeah, you get slowed. Exactly, but then you get what? Slowed? Slowed? Did you say slowed? I'm confused. What? What did you say? Thing? I, I said bait it out and then go up before the minion gets low. Oh, before it gets low. I just said and then go up before you get slowed, and I was like, what? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? But yeah, um, so like you know what I mean. That's like the concept of wiggling. And again, if you're full HP, it's way more relevant here. 
So because we're gonna ignore the fact you're half because that's just that was troll yeah, as fuck. Really um, I actually don't do that anymore. Like the next good. game, I actually died. <laughs> good. <that word>. So <laughs> oh, since no. then, yeah, I, I, yeah, I haven't done it again since then. Yeah. So so what you need to do is you need to run through mid right at the start so you can control this bush as fast as possible, and then you're mm -hmm. then you can hug this wall really quickly and just move in, drop ward like right there or right there, whatever, and then get out really quickly. Yeah. Um, or you I can wait I, for like. I like trying to do it later. You can wait for the 128, but most of the time the it's going to cause the enemy litter to already be in lane, autoing minions. Which, if if depending on the matchup, that could hurt you. Like in Syndra, you don't really want to be shoved in on Syndra. You want to do what you can to to contest it. Obviously, she has the priority there, but that's why you're trying to bait out her Q so that you can actually contest. It feels dangerous running there straight away as well, though, because like, what if they're like five stacking for an invade or yeah, something? Yeah, that, well, that's. I that mean, push. most of the time. Most of the time, they won't be, and if they are, you'll be face checking the same time as them, so you could still play it out. Because you should, I mean, by that time, you'll usually still have movement speed unless you move further, right? And then yeah. they'll, if they try to move at you, they'll lose movement speed. Actually, I, mean, I don't know if that's, I don't really know how the home guard moves speed. I might be just wrong about that, actually. But it's pretty unlikely that you're both going to face check at the exact same time. And if yeah, you are, yeah. that's why you're not walking into this bush at the angle of like this. You're going against this wall. <laughs> so that yeah. if they DC you, that like, sense. yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah, again, like that's why wiggling is much more about like. You see them turn around, so you turn around. You see them turn to background, you immediately turn back around. Like it's fast. It's not like. It's like. Uh, what happened? starts like right here, right? So she turns around and see how you're still going backwards. Like you need to be already yeah. be going back in, and then she's like now you're there. You're mirroring it a lot better, but like right from the start, you know. Do oh, didn't dodge it. But see, see where you put yourself. You put yourself on this corner. So all she has, now, if she's good, she knows that she can Q right here, and you can't dodge it right here. So you have to move. So if she just, if she puts it on the outer edge of your hitbox right here, you're gonna get hit by it because there's no way you can dodge, dodge it into it. this wall. Yeah. So that's kind of the mess up here. Is you actually put yourself exactly where you can't dodge it. I mean, I guess yeah, you could yeah. probably dodge it moving up, but like, that's you might miss the XP or potential CS then at that point. But if you just didn't, if you just stayed like right here, you or like right here, you know, you can actually just still do the wiggle, dodge the Q. Yep. Still G wiggly. Makes sense. But and if you're full HP, getting hit by one Q is not even a big deal. You could even argue that you probably could just walk up and just spam E's on her and trade with her at that point at level one. Yeah. But with you being that low, it is important. Um. And then again, like level two stuff. Again, you know, she wouldn't normally do her E like backwards like she did, but you're you're going to be looking for those windows of oh I've, I've got her E out and now I can actually just co go up and get that. Just try and bait it out to dodge it. Yeah, like le level then... two, you you beat Syndra in a trip in like yeah. an all in. She doesn't beat you in all in. She'll just the problem is that she's going to queue at you and just walk away. Yeah. Because I mean, unless she's an idiot, the <laughs> like uh... while her E's on cooldown, if she kept walking at you, you would just drop Q and spam E's on her and just run her down, and you'd win. I think it's it's probably my biggest problem in main. As I said, it was trading and like I act really scared of people it, it, and I don't need to. Well, like, like more I like you're letting them. you're you're taking trades that are that like don't do anything for you at times. Like the 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 trade where you walk past River for Zach. Like yeah, you have. Uh, I mean, I haven't played. I haven't played too much Cassio myself at all. Like I don't know how it feels to spam her spells very much on like wave or anything. But like right, you know, uh, is really this actually bad. where you get ganked? Not really. No. But this yeah, this is like a good trade, right? But we don't need to walk up at this point, and we don't need to throw W up. W is yeah, pointless. Don't, it's you just, just a waste, a waste of mana, of mana. exactly. And that's that's really big, a lot of mana. It's just that's all it is is a waste of mana. You did like twenty damage with E or W, or maybe thirty damage. With e, you know, I don't know, but not enough to to warrant seventy mana, especially when she's got health potions anyway. The 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 rest of it was fine, but we probably could just back up after like. You take this, okay, gone, right? And then yeah. I, I've won the HP trade. These minions are going to keep hitting me at this point, so I don't want to take too much damage. But you've already won the trade, back up, and then while she's low, you can focus on hitting some minions down. Because again, like, you really don't want her to be crashing big waves into you. Like, you want the wave to be as small as possible all the time. Like, you, you ideally, your ideal situation against Cinder is that you're never under your tower. Like, you're never sitting here farming big waves under your tower. Uh, ideally, it's like just sitting here the whole time. That's How really that hard. Work, right? You can push it really hard. That's what I'm saying is it's really hard, but if she's letting you do it, you should be trying to do it. 
because there were many times against the Syndra where you could be doing it, right? And yeah. that's how you punish her. But if she's just playing the lane out the way it should be, it doesn't happen. But you have to pay attention. Oh, okay, she fucked up. I can, I can actually just do what I want to do now. And then well, what, what happens too then is the reason you want it to be here, right? The biggest part of it is because she doesn't want to be here, right? Yeah, because it's really easily gankable. So what is she going to do when the wave's here? Hard push it. Which means what? Use her spells. Exactly. All of her mana's gone. Yeah. And her cooldown. So, okay, if, if she's playing, if she has to play, let's say, like, what, ideally, um, the minions are probably crashed, like, three melees right here. Your, okay, three melees, three casters. And then you've got your three melees, three casters, right? Yeah. And then if she walks up, like, this way, like, she's coming up here and just Q, W, E's, or even just Q, E's it, you get to go this way and play this pocket now right here and hit her. Yeah. And then if she's backs up, what are you doing? You're just going to thin out the melee minions so that they don't get to hit your tower. Yeah. Right? All right. Makes sense. You just, you, if, she, if she's not hittable, you're just going to Q, E, 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 kill. And then all the, the casters are stuck here and you don't really care because, I mean, with one combo, she's not going to clear your whole wave. Yes. It's going to be still like, s still sitting there at least with like your melees. So then you can just kill the casters, the melees and casters are fighting. She comes up to Q it, you can maybe look to do something to her. Potentially, right? Yeah. Depending on how much mana she has at that point, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, makes perfect sense. But uh, talking about melees, uh, it's just like it, it is different because you're going to have the priority early on. You're going to be the one in the center spot, right? Where you're not really just trying to shove them right away, but from level one. I guess I could just go back here, right? If you're playing against who, Diana, I guess. Is she you say you have issues with? Yeah, you're full HP. Yeah. You're going to be standing up here right from the start. And yeah. she's going to be down here, right? And you're literally just going to hit her with one E. And these three casters are going to move up here. Yeah. Because they're going to aggro you. And now, yeah, yeah. you're again just going to then go back into this pocket over here or over here. And Diana comes to walk up. You're going to auto E here and you're going to back up real quick. And then you're just going to go right back to this pocket, wherever you're at. Whichever, whichever side. And then she uses, like... You're not going to stand right here or right here because she's going to queue these when they're low. And you're going to take damage then. You want her all of her mana to be spent on minions and you want to stay full HP. There's no reason to not be. And you're not going to be shoving the melee minions in or, or shoving minions in. You're literally just going to be last hitting. Um, and and the, the, here's the thing about the, the aggro you take. When you, when you take this aggro from these for even just those one or two seconds, you've caused a slow push. Yes. Because you've so taken their aggro, it naturally will push into yes. that position. So also. now, so now you can absolutely just play where you're. All, all you're doing is last hitting the minions, and then whatever she's going to come up to try to do anything, you're just going to zone her off so she can't. And all of her mana now has to be spent on on farming. And then, and then if you, do if I you're hard push it, huh? Do I hard push it once the next wave crashes? So no, that it doesn't. End you're up just gonna hard. you're you're just gonna let the wave stack up as slowly as possible. Because as long as the wave's going to be right here, Diana's never going to touch you. But I eventually mean, it's going to slow push. It's going to push into it. Yeah, right? eventually. And by that point, the wave will be very, very big. And then, and then, the and then you're going to recall. Okay. Like, um, and this is a very problem. Actually, let, let, me, let me pull up. Uh, let me pull up an example, I believe. I remember seeing this actually ha happening exactly. Oh, not clips. Oh, fuck, I don't want clips. Uh, two days ago, I believe. God, guys, I forgot okay. subscriber. Oh, <laughs> this is when he forgot to do subscribers. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, it's this one. No, fuck, that's no, it is this one. Okay, so they do this in the Draven oh, versus Kali matchup. Okay, hold on. Let me get to the point, and then I'll fix it. Okay. Oh, it's not this one. This is... No, is it? No, yeah, this is when Ellis is playing. Fuck. Um, so it's three days ago. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me... Stop sharing. Share screen. Share. Okay. Yes. Oh. That didn't fix it. <laughs> it didn't fix it? Wait. Maybe it... Hopefully it'll fix. 
soon, though. Um, you won't be able to, like, really see it necessarily. Actually, maybe we can in view. They might actually look at it. Yeah, okay. I think Who is they, this? This is LS's team that he's playing in TCS with. So, see? see? This is the exact match. Uh, do they look at the individual lanes? I can't remember. But I want to look at just... If, if they just show mid lane... Is it Akali versus... It's a Akali versus Draven. And he's... They have the Draven. So... Do they look at the wave? Oh, okay, they don't. Um, But you'll... I think we could find... A spot... Where you'll see it. And it this isn't really... I mean, Akali is melee, so it is kind of the same matchup, right? Yeah. All right, so from the start here, oh, where is it, dude? I know they, I know you'll, I've seen it, I've seen it. Where's it at? Ah, uh, god dang it. Okay, it must have already been looked at. I think you went over it before. I think saw a spot. In yeah, I know. Me too. That's why I'm like, what the heck? It must be. I think they do bot lane first. Okay, here we go. So, this wave has not crashed in yet. Draven's just kept no. it here this whole time. Yeah. By by last hitting at the very last second. Look how it's a cannon wave. So this is the third wave. Two minutes fifty three seconds. Cannon wave crashes. Draven's recalling. Why? Because a call is not going to be able to recall, or she's not going to be able to clear this, and the next wave is going to come before she can recall. So she's already going to have to shove it out. And by that time, Draven's already going to be back in lane, like right here. And he's going to catch the wave. And he's like, I don't know, he's like an item up, even just a little small item up, full HP, full yeah, mana. Just... And he's just going to zone her now. Yeah. I've actually, like, never really done that. I've never really thought about getting a recall for free like this when they can't even think about recall. Right. And so, see, he's just going to come back. He's going to thin it out so it's frozen right in the middle. And he's just, or he's just frozen. And he's just going to play it so like that. So he can just zone her off right now. Yep. And he's just going to hold the waves. And she's never going to get to recall. Because even if she TPs, she misses farm. So she doesn't really want to do that. And then Echo Echo has to come mid and share farm with her, which is fine. It crashes. Um, but again, there's already another wave here. And Draven can shove this back. She, she'll have to TP back if she wants to. Which is okay. But they shared XP, and now Draven's even further ahead because of it. Right? Yeah. Which, in solo yeah, queue, especially. but in solo queue, this is not going to happen. Especially yeah. in the regular, like, the, of that game. Um, or even in Telic Masters, it still doesn't even really happen. And unless it's like a good jungler, that that's when they'll do it. But this wave would be like perma frozen if Echo doesn't come. And see, he just it all ins her whenever he wants. And because he would have killed her, but Echo can't. So and then they shove it out. But that's ex like that's that's the concept. He didn't crash any wave. He didn't ever try to hard shove it. It just crashed naturally. Right at the cheat. Like yeah. that. That's the whole point of the cheater recall. Well, a, a cannon wave, you want to crash it if, if you're trying to recall. Which for you would mean by that point, probably it's not a tier, but it'd be your crystal and uh, the fairy charm, which is yeah, uh, that's good. That's a whole nother like full set of rotation you, of spells. I think you can also get a uh, a corrupting pot as well, which is that good on cast. True. If what did you, did you start? Oh yeah, you started Dorn Sweet that game. Stop ones, yeah. yeah, if you have 500, you could also just go for Corrupting Pot, which is just going to mean that you have way more land kingdom. But that's literally the exact... that that That's the theory and practice. So do you think you can do that against, like, most melee matchups? Like, like yeah, I would say one on one exception... Well, early on, yeah, because they don't have wave clear. They don't have enough damage in their kit to wave clear. They don't have the items. But the only, like... Yeah. The only one that might be a little harder to do it on is like Talon, I would say. I mean, that I'm thinking of off the top of my head is like Talon. Just because Talon's about, W has so much clear. What about Yasuo? If he can clear quite But as long as, you don't, as long as you don't get hit by w, yes, Talon's W, he can't shove you in with it because he hey, can't clear the whole wave with it. So if he does that, you're just going to freeze it on him. You know? Yeah. Um, but who'd you say? Yasuo? Yasuo? Because Kani just, you know, keep EQing the wave. Well, if he's going to EQ into the wave, you're going to fucking hit him. No, but I mean, if, if you try to back, he can clear it fast enough. To push it into you before you get back. Mm. No? I 
don't think he could clear that wave and the next one fast enough. I mean, I think if he's EQing the whole wave, <laughs> like, uh, his Q's not low enough cooldown at level 2. It's still like 4 or 5 seconds. Yeah. So if he's going to EQ a wave twice, he, the casters are going to be low, and like by the time can't, Tower's hitting them, he's going to miss a lot of the CS. Yeah. Right. And you'll still be able to get back to the lane, like at least by the time the wave's hitting your tower, which is, means Yasuo's not going to... Because then if Yasuo recalls by that time, you're, you're Castiel, you'll just shove the next wave, and he'll miss the next wave to his tower, or at least like the melees. Yeah. So that that's sense. still an advantage, an advantage to you. And if you don't want a cheater recall, you can still just continue zoning off of the cannon wave. It's just that yeah. you're kind of in... Like, when you're doing the freezing, you don't really have a good time to go ward. So by that point, like, it's like three minutes, right, when the cannon wave hits. So by that point, yeah. um, you're, you're, you're risking getting ganked by the jungle. If you... Like, you might be able to get a lane ward in, but if you're against, like, in this game, Echo, Echo can just come from over a wall, like Zach does, right? He can come over a wall on you. He can W at, at you, come over a wall. Zach comes over wall, Sejuani comes over wall, you know, like... Yeah, I think that's a problem I actually usually have because I do crash in the waves like that, but I'm not sure what to do because I want to harass them on the tower and sometimes I get baited into it, like, get baited into harassing them on the tower and then it's just the <laughs> easiest gank ever for the jungle. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, there was one more oh, thing. You yeah. see, I think it was screenshot. Yeah, I just saw that. I was just wondering about, like... So this I'm the I'm the Ariana in this. Right. And I was just wondering, so the so the rise is just back to his TR and TP back. And I don't know what to do in this situation because he's got a freeze. Okay, well uh, I, 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 I kinda, can't push it in because it's I, I wanna see the ten seconds before this though. Like or like twenty seconds before this. Do you have it? Mm, or is it no, just a screenshot? Really. Because it was just a screenshot because I was saying through the game and I just didn't know what to do. Uh, well, I'm like, whether it was thinking, okay. how did he TP? Did he TP to tower? Like, what? yeah, he TP back to tower. Well, when but I was... how, how? I'm just curious. Like, it's important. What's important here? I'll show the screen again. What's important here is how this wave ended up like this. Well, I think he crashed it into my tower and then backed. And okay. Then, so I was pushing the wave, uh -huh. and then it got to this point because I couldn't push it fast enough. Mm. Um. And so it's crashed here, and I can't move up to clear it. So he's just got. Mm, this is why I take TP into rise. No, I'm just kidding, because um, <laughs> you know it's rising into TP. But uh, I, it's hard to say because it's 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 also just it's really important to know how the wave ended up like this. Like that plays into it a lot. But yeah. uh, at first glance, because of the wave being right here and it only being a caster this low and this caster this low, this should actually still come back into you. We right. just recall. So it wouldn't be that bad to just back. I think no. I did end up backing. Right. So, um, I mean, if you recall it, it does come back into you, which it should because of the state of the landing, because these aren't aggroing yet. So these ones are probably going to die before these three collapse. And then it'll be even, and then the next wave will come, and it'll slowly keep pushing into you. If there's like three full HP casters here, or t even two full HP casters here, it, it's going to be harder. But I'm, I'm just thinking that the, the way that this lane is, what will probably happen as well, is one of these melees, and I'm sure you see this, is going to fucking go full Kamikaze into his tower for no reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, that you kind of rely... I feel like you can rely on that quite a bit. Yeah, because that happens to me all the time, too. Okay. And, it, and it, like, always happens. But, I mean, th the question is ask yourself in this position to be... to begin with, if, if, like, you do find yourself in, like, this. Which, again, it is important how it, how it did end up like this altogether, or if there was any mistakes made before this. All right. But... Are you going to die here if you stay? Is what you need to know. Like, do I have Possible. vision? If I have vision up here, I can just sit in the lane and I can just kind of last hit. Oh, like hugging this side of my vision over here, right? I can hug over this side. So if Nunu comes out from here, I can just move up. Um, Pretty or, sure I or, use my ward on Raptor, so I don't have you don't have another ward, ward yet for Nunu, but I do know it just the depends top side, on it. But... Depends when your ward comes up then. Um, but it's Nunu, so he can just yeah. roll in and kill me quite easily. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, but you you said you know he's topside? Yeah, well, yeah, because I had the water map. Just oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Sorry, sorry. Go to top. Okay, you, I mean, this wave's going to come into you, so what you can just do is you can, like, hug down bottom side, and I know, even though it's Nunu, wait, your, well, your flash is down, so it's actually, oof. If your flash is up, you, uh, you have no, a little more risk actually, here. I don't think it is down. It's the bug, because I went oh, okay, 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 okay. where I flashed and then came back, mm. so it's not actually. 
Well, one thing to note is your Lee Sin's down here, and the enemy bot lane, um, I'm assuming they know that they're not there, but this lane's not really getting cool to begin with, especially if you know Nunu's top side, Lee Sin doesn't have a reason to be down here. So if yeah. Nunu does come out from top side, you're just going to run to Lee Sin. And usually okay. if they see you, if, if Nunu's over here, and especially if Ryze is still over here, by the time you're like down here and unstunned by Nunu, like you're going to get out, especially if Clint's, like it's not a big deal. Um, but usually a good, at least good enemy players will see you dip into this fog right here, and they'll assume you're running to Lee Sin, and they're not going to chase you. Because, yeah. like, I, I, you know, unless it's a winning 2v2 matchup. But, um, again, if Ryze just leaves this, it should still push into you, so it would be okay for them to chase you, um, as long as you, like, don't die. But if it was a freeze, so, like, there was another... So if there's a third caster here, I, I would say just, just hug down here, try to, like, get last hits, or try, try to just throw QWs out um, at the casters to kill them, like walk up, yeah. throw a QW out, like hugging this bottom side wall, right? So you get up here, range, Q -O -W, um, back up, wait till your Q's back up again, maybe last hit with a Q or an auto, um, and then again, Q this to like finish killing them. Because at that point, the only way he's going to freeze it is if he actually like tanks the wall. Yeah. Right. So like that would be the safest bet. And if I come bet. back and he would have taken damage. Yeah, but you have to stay within like this. Because if you go up up here, it's too hard to get to Lee Sin now. Uh, like they'll yeah. hit you by before, and you'll have to flash right away. But like if you still okay. have if you still have flash, and they see you get to fog, like there's just not uh, there's no like guarantee for them to chase you. Like unless they're just stupid. Because like then they're they're face checking for one and for two. You have flash anyway, so they're just gonna be chasing you for a long time. And if it's just yeah. if and then if, of course if you're dipping and and you see Rise just go back to farming and Nunu keeps chasing, then you just you're just gonna walk away and like recall. Yeah. Um, all right, but Makes that's sense. like like that's the best you can do in that case. Like that's a really really unfortunate case when it, if it's like a true freeze on you, um, and there's really no way to get out of it without a risk play. Or best thing, which I sh honestly should just tell you, is fucking tell your Lee Sin to come here and push it, and he can even just tell him he can take the farm. Like just clear it, <laughs> like the Echo did against the the, the TCS screen. Like yeah, like that. Right. That's what I do in bot when I get frozen. I literally tell my drill to say, "Come push, you can have the CS." Like. I don't care. I'm not going to give it to them for free, but if they're if they're last hitting it, I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Because I'm going to miss way more than I'm going to miss to them, and at least I'm getting XP. Yeah. And then when they and then when they do shove it in, you can most of the time just recall or back up, wait for the wave to reset. Depending on you know at that point, you would look at where the next wave's at, see if you have enough time. Does, yeah. that, does that help? Yeah. 